When you start putting yourself out there, inevitably, a lot of people are going to reach out to you. Sometimes it's going to be with a positive or a good intention. Other times it's going to be just bullshit. Nonetheless, since I've been making content on YouTube, and by no means am I a famous person or consider myself an influencer, I still get a lot of comments, emails, relatively a lot, of people just asking me for advice. Especially a lot of engineering students or professional engineers. For those of you who know and don't know, when I started my YouTube channel, a lot of the content that I was making was me sharing my experience of working a professional engineering job, just how I transitioned from a hardware engineer to a software engineer, my experience in the industry, talking about what it was like. I used to work for Texas Instruments, then I transitioned to a software engineer role at a different company. I was working remote and I was making videos about that. But to be completely transparent, if you haven't noticed, I have not worked an engineering job, an engineering related job for the past two years now, I would say. But still to this day, I get a lot of people reaching out because they come across those old videos and they comment on them or reach out to me, which is fine. I don't mind. But to be clear, I have not worked in anything related to what I went to school for, which was computer engineering. I have not worked in anything related to that for the past two years. That being said, I still like to respond to people when I get messages like this. So a few days ago, I got a message from what appears to be an, yeah, a master's student who is graduating and he's facing a dilemma that I also faced at one point where he's questioning if he's prepared to go to the industry, if it's worth it to go now to the industry or spend some more time developing the extra knowledge, additional skills, etc. And he sent me an email asking for advice. So I'm going to put the email up in the video so you guys can read it as well. And I'm going to, it's a bit long, so I'm going to summarize at least the key points. But essentially, he's graduating from his master's. He studied analog design, or CMOS analog design, integrated circuit design. He's interested in the analog design, but he feels like there's still a lot to master in terms of like the, the tools that you use in the industry, which is a very, semiconductors is a very niche thing. It's a very niche industry. There's a lot of money in it, but it's very, very niche. You're not going to randomly sit down at a table at a restaurant and start talking about transistors, submicron technology, none of that shit. But anyways, so he's saying, yeah, okay, he feels like there's a lot to master, that he, ha he knows he has to improve. He's estimating it'll take him five years in addition to what he's already spent studying. Five years to master it. He considers himself a perfectionist. He had to work for five years, blah, 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 blah. So he's also from India. Acceptance rate is very low. Getting into the industry. So yeah, he's saying that he feels like there's still a lot for him to master, but he just wants to enjoy life, experience life. And he knows there's a lot to learn, but he doesn't want to essentially learn anymore. He, he feels like he's done. He's learned it off. He's done solving problems. He wants to actually teach. That's something that calls him, that he wants to do, experience life, teach. He wants to do something else that's not just endlessly studying and consuming. That is the gist of it, basically. And then he asked me, what do I think if I'm overestimating the demands that the industry will have? And if it's a wise decision to transition? Yeah, some extra details. But the idea of the message is basically his heart is telling him to do one thing, but his mind is telling him to do another. Now, as someone who also was brought up in a very traditional family, very traditional sense. You go to school, you focus on a safe career, very high paying career, one that you're likely to be successful. In this case, it's engineering. And now that I've been two years removed from a corporate setting, because I did work in a corporate office, I worked for Texas Instruments, for those of you who didn't know, an office, nine to five, Fortune 500 company. I went through corporate America, Spent a few years there, worked for different other companies, and now two years I've been essentially working for myself, building my own path. 
focusing on just entrepreneurship, business, learning sales and marketing, etc. Point is that my advice to him was essentially to pursue work that is meaningful. And bro, if you're watching this, I'm just going to expand on what I told you. And essentially the reason why I say that is I know that you're from India and I know it's very easy to look at my privileged ass and think, okay, he can do it because he's in first world or he has access to other resources that maybe I don't. Granted, that is a valid point, but the reality is today, in today's world, because of the internet, you have access to so many opportunities that you are probably not even considering. Like I said, I was brought up traditional sense, go to school, get a job, that was it. And that's, that's fine. I don't want to say there's anything wrong with that. But when, you, when the only tool you have a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And I told him, because he expressed very passionately, I could tell that he just feels like he's trapped, like he wants to, like, I can tell you want to do something else, you don't want to keep studying, or you don't want to work in this, or you want to do it because you want to, not because you have to or need to, or whatever the case may be. And I told you that the solution is like, no, bro, you have access to the internet. There's so many things you can do now. Just even this, I don't have a lot of followers, I don't have a huge audience, I don't have anything, and still, you reached out to me. You're not the only one who's reached out, and I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm saying that to show the power that a phone has, the internet has. I'm just here in my apartment talking to myself, and you sent out a message to me, just from me here talking, sharing my thoughts and my experiences. You can do the same. All that time, all those years that you spent learning whatever it is that you did, focusing on you know, analog design, IC design, etc. I know there's a bunch of channels about tutorials, CMOS design, circuit analysis, there's a bunch of channels on that. But if that's something that you really wanna do, you really wanna teach, you can actually do that and you don't need to work, wait to break into the industry or wait five years to master it. There's so many things you can do right now. You can already start making videos showing your learning process. If you want to keep learning or feel like you have to keep learning, then document you learning and then share that with the world. Make a YouTube channel about it. If you don't want to learn anymore, then start talking about what you've learned. Like I said, I haven't worked in engineering for two years, so what I can talk about is the things I did. I'm not 100% I'm not up to date with how the industry is right now, what it's like, etc. but I can tell you what I went through. And you can do the same. You can talk about your experience. You could target India, if that's the country that you live in, but you can also literally target the world. There's no limit. You have the internet. It's, one, it's amazing. It's unfathomable how much reach you can get. It's, it's just, there's a whole world available to you and you just have to go out there and take it. So my advice was mostly that, just to focus on the things that bring you fulfillment. Why? Because you're clearly torn, but then life is, there's always going to be more to learn, more to do. So there will never be a perfect time to when you can start. Because if you spend the next five years learning what you feel you don't know, by the time you're done, there's going to be a whole new set of technologies and developments that you're going to have to learn. So yeah, now is the time to start working towards what you want. You're pretty clear that you want to teach. And you're pretty clear that you feel that you spent enough time learning. Start sharing, start teaching, start doing it now. You don't have to wait for the industry, a degree, whatever. Just go for it, man, because I know what it feels like. I remember when I used to work in TI, coincidentally, on my lunch breaks, I would just hide. and Hide in the sense that I didn't want anyone to talk to me. I didn't want to talk to anyone. And I would spend that hour just coming up with ideas to to make content. And I used to have some old ass engineering tutorial pages that I used to make where I would share basic, basic engineering stuff. If you know, like how to calculate current in a resistor, basic logic gates, some very basic ass shit. And I never got anywhere with that, but I'm glad I did it because at least that was a sign that I wanted to carve my own path. I wanted to find a different route than the one that I had been exposed to or instilled since I was born. So yeah, 
That is my long ass rant to expand on the advice I gave you. Like I said, follow what brings you meaning, bruh. That's all you gotta do. And I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know. I've been grinding my ass for two years. And I'm still, I mean, I, I can't complain of where I'm at. But it's been a lot of hard work to get out of the rat race, nine to five, to start carving out or creating the life I want to, I want it to have. But it is possible. I did it. I'm from Puerto Rico, bro. I'm from a small ass island of literally a bunch of lazy people who just want to be on a beach. That's it. That's to, to be honest, that's the reality of my island, unfortunately. And I made it out, but I was clear that I wanted to get out. So yeah, that's my message, bro. Hope, hope it helps you. Hope it gives you a little bit more insight. Hope you don't mind me sharing the email and just talking about this. But yeah, for everyone else, follow what brings you meaning. Follow what brings you purpose, man. Life is long. Life's a marathon. There's so much to do. There's so many options that maybe you haven't even considered. Just expose yourself to as many things as possible. And hey, reach out to people like me. You never know. Maybe I responded. Someone else might respond. It might change your life. Take your, take your shot. You never know. So yeah, that's my message for today. Thank you for watching a bit long, but hope you found it useful and valuable. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.